hi all hope you all are doing good uh, in today's video we'll see uh, the installation process for Dynamics 365 Business Central 2020 release wave 1 which is also called as Business Central 16 so the first thing would be downloading the product DVD you can always refer to Microsoft website or get it or if you want uh, you can visit my blog and in that if you come down a little bit on the right hand side there is a label section where you'll find hotfix uh, this always contains all the cumulative update releases that are released for the product so today we are talking about business until 16 on-prem so the latest one is 16.1 when you click on it it will give you all the information about that hotfix what was changed what versions the uh, localization this was released for what is the build numbers and then you can always see what Microsoft changed from uh, CU0 to CU1 for specific CU that you are looking for and then you also get a download link if you click on it it will redirect you to the Microsoft website or directly to the download page uh, once you hit download it gives you all the localized version and the worldwide version of the product so you can choose uh, based on your requirement or what your customer need select that and click next and start the download process to save time I have already downloaded it and put it into my downloads also extract it which looks something like this and inside this there is a product DVD uh, if you have seen other videos of uh, installation you'll always find that I always suggest to keep it on a uh, root drive with a smaller file path name uh, folder name so that it's easy and the installer doesn't give you an error message during installation that uh, the file path or the file name is so long that it cannot copy so we'll run the setup as administrator and we'll begin our installation so once you run the uh, setup as administrator uh, the welcome window will appear you'll click next you'll accept the agreement and then you again get the same three options which is get a free online trial which is a uh, trial version of a SaaS environment you can always try it with your work or your school email address or you can choose to download the app from Microsoft Store for your phone or tablet in this Microsoft assumes that you already have the server and the database in place and you just need a client to connect then you can choose this and then the last but not the least which we'll be talking about in this video is about advanced installation option which takes you through to install all the component that you need so you'll choose that component and then you will see that there are two new options that you see on your screen which is install demo and choose an installation option install demo installs the component which are defined in the configuration file which comes with the product DVD so if you want you can choose install demo I love to prefer the component that will get installed on my machine so I always choose choose an installation option so once you choose it you'll again have certain options uh, which is do you want only to install client or do you want only to install server or developer or you have a config file that you want to load and the setup should read what component need to be installed from the config file so client installs uh, the your uh, it hosts your website on IIS on your local IIS so that you can access it server installs your middle tier as well as the uh, management console based on which you can stop start or change service parameters and developer you you still have options to choose what you want to install so I'll choose developer but I'll directly not choose developer I'll make sure that I choose customize inside the developer option so that I am able to pick and choose what I want so let's talk about it quickly AL development environment installs the 
a language extension for your Visual Studio Code. Server administration tool installs the management console as I said earlier, which makes it which gives you a graphical user interface to stop, start, and change parameters and settings on your service tier. Uh, the server actually installs the service tier which is the config file and other assemblies that are required to run services SQL server da database component gives you a demo database that you can use for your testing and development uh, I'll not choose Outlook add-in at this point but if you want you can use it to uh, to use uh, Outlook integration with Business Central web server component checks your IIS if there are any component missing it sets it up and then your website is hosted on that web server and I don't need a help server because uh, I prefer to use MSDN for all the help related to business central so once you have selected what you want click next and then the last page of installation where you decide what parameters you want to set where you want to install uh, your product where should be the product placed these are default if you want to change it you can I prefer to keep it as a standard then comes down is the service tier configuration where it asks you on which server you want to install the service tier what should be the service name the default service name which account should be used to run those services if that's a domain account you need to key in the password and that's preferably correct on an actual environment and not I, I don't change it because of my development environment coming down on the list and this is a, uh, uh, you know a area where most of the people face issues during installation which is about these five ports and you need to make sure that you choose your port wisely and when I say wisely means that those ports should not be used with any previous version of your installation of uh, Dynamics Nav or Business Central if you have any other version installed. So if you have any other version installed make sure that these ports are not being used in that installation and uh, if they are used then make sure that you change it. Uh, I'll add rule to firewall to my management services. I'll not enable my SOAP right now because I can do it later when I need it. Same for OData and then the developer service port will be enabled and it will be added to firewall. So let's talk about why, why these ports are important. Client service port is used for your client connections. Uh, SOAP and OData are used for your web services and developer service port is used to connect your Visual Studio code with your uh, database. Coming down on list, what type of credential you want with the service tier, I keep it default to Windows. Then what is your SQL server, if you have a SQL server, uh, very good. If you don't, you can always get the Express version with the product DVD. So I already have the Express version installed and what is the database name that you want to give and I'm not sure that I have a database or not so I'll keep replace existing database because it's just a demo database when that is done the last thing is where your web server will be hosted website will be hosted I keep the port default as 8080 and that's it on the configuration side and we'll click apply so while the installer is trying to install all the prerequisite and assemblies, let's talk about a very important thing which is the system requirement for Business Central. And this is not specific to Business Central, but anytime you install a software, you should always check that what is the minimum hardware or software requirement that are required for that product to be installed or used on your environment. Or is it is your machine will be able to use that software that you're trying to install so come and Microsoft provide these things with every version so you can go back and check for previous versions also so let's talk about different components so client component requires a, a browser because that's the modern client only with the business central 15 and higher and this is business central 16 so the supported browser that are supported with Business Central are these listed here. If you want to use 
business inbox in outlook then you need to make sure that you have office 365 2019 or 2016 same goes for excel if you want to use send data to excel then these versions of office should be installed uh, if you'll be printing world reports or excel report then you again need office microsoft office uh, coming down in list uh, these are system requirement for your phone slash tablet client what operating system what uh, how much ram minimum ram that you need on on a f on a tablet or on a phone device and what are additional softwares you need same you can read for al development environment what all you need coming down to server component and this is where it's kind of uh, makes sense that you need to read this because this is the area where it get fails most of the time so the server component uh, requires you to have any of these versions installed as an operating system on your machine which is windows 10 pro enterprise and education so only these three flavors of windows 10 uh, will be supported with business central 16 and then these two different versions and flavors of windows server to meet the server requirement uh, .NET Framework 4.8 if it is not there it gets installed with the product coming down to web server component where your website will get hosted so if you see the options for operating system are same and additionally you need IIS uh, 10 8.5 or 8 which will be used to host your website that will be used by the clients on different devices uh, it's a windows feature if it is not enabled you can always enable on server by using server manager or on windows 10 by going into control panel add or remove and then uh, add or remove windows feature so you can enable those and then coming down the most important thing in the whole installation which is SQL Server requirement operating system remains same um, and here comes the interesting part of SQL Server which I wanted to focus on on this particular video is it supports Windows so SQL Server 2019 Express Standard and Enterprise or 2017 and if you have 2016 then Express standard or enterprise with service pack one or later and this is very important for people who were using business central earlier or who had dynamic snap install previous versions of sql server did not used compression and you can always read about it i i wrote about it on my blog uh, never used to use the compression uh, as one of the feature in sql server but uh, 2020 wave one actually uses that feature and if you don't have the right uh, SQL server installed you may end up with this error message during installation which very clearly says that it is not able to restore the database because it requires data compression uh, business central 16 and uh, like going back to this 2016 service till service pack 1 does not support SQL compression so you need to make sure that you have service pack 1 or higher so if you read this blog you will find that below there are details how you can download where is that link and express is a free version so you can always download that and install it on your local environment uh, the same goes for health server the operating system are more or less same health server also gets on your website so it needs IIS and that's it more or less on the system requirement so make sure to read it through uh, before you plan to install business central on your machine or any product I would suggest always go and check what are the system requirements so that you don't face any issues during installation while we were talking about it it's about to finish its installation process we'll quickly have a look how the client looks and i guess that will be all on this one so let's wait for a minute or so 
so as you can see the installation is completed successfully let's close the installer and let's see what get installed in our machine so as you can see I got an administration cell which is used to manage services via PowerShell development cell which is used to run certain commands like exporting objects importing objects and things like that uh, let's see what's new in this because there is no export and import objects per se in in AL world so let's see how this has been changed I should have started desired admin but still have a compare nav application object in business central 16 which is a surprise to me uh, export permission set that makes sense report layouts that seems a new command I'll have to test it out someday so yeah this is used uh, in a different way than the development shell so these two are different and then administration is used to stop and start your services which will load your MMC as we said earlier so all that looks good I'm looking for the client and I guess this should be my client so let's see what happens so it gives me a new URL of business central 160 and it's trying to load there let's see it will take some time so in the meantime here is the service tier which gets set up for business central 16 and here it uh, the MMC will help you to change those parameters so you'll see all the settings that we have done all the ports number that we have given during installation are available here and you can access uh, and enable the ODATA or SOAP if you want based on your requirement so let me check what's happening on the client so there was a small port confusion because I have two versions installed which is business central 14 and 16 because I'm, I'm testing out the upgrade process and if if you guys need I, I I can surely record that process while testing the upgrade from business central 14 to 16 so let me know on comments let's see what pops up uh, once the client get loaded so it is the client got lo loaded for business central 16 and you can you know start doing your development start connecting this to your visual studio code start building your extensions around it and also learn about everything that came new into business central 16 so let me know your views on it uh, let me know what else you want as a video I'll I'll make sure that I, I, I try to post it and put it into my schedule so thank you for you thank you for watching and see you next time bye bye